Ah, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another wonderful morning prayer session of Sacred Heart Yoga, the best way to ever start your day in the morning. We always begin with prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer that you've taught us of each of us praying aloud in the privacy of our own homes, our heartfelt concerns, each of us doing body movements to repair our bodies so that we can be in service to you. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so that anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they want, anywhere they want. Now we'll begin by saying the, the Sacred Heart Yoga Prayer. We'll begin by you repeating after me the following words. Beloved, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to you. And I allow myself to be purified as I rejoice in the kingdom of heaven and the love of God. And I give thanks for these blessings, for these moments I share. with my body and my spirit in oneness with you. And so it is, amen. Amen. Now we're going to clear our energy fields. That means get rid of all thoughts that might be distracting us, all fears that are overwhelming us or that we're concentrating on that would prevent us from walking hand in hand with our God as we've seen. We do this at the beginning of Sacred Heart Yoga with a motion. We put our hand up at the 12 o'clock position, move it over to the 3 o'clock position, uh, our right knee, left knee, back up to the 9 o'clock position, and back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me. I clear my energy field. of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them to the light. Oh.
Now we're going to, we come to what I feel is the most important part for me of Sacred Heart Yoga because it sets really what my prayers are going to be for the rest of the, the, this morning session. And what we're going to do is ask God, how may we serve you? How may I serve you is what each of us ask God. We do this by putting, and, and the answer to me always comes in no more than one or two words. And then what I meant by it sets the rest of my session is I will repeat those one or two words in almost every prayer from then on. And for this session, and by the time I do it for a while, it becomes clear what God's asked me to do, to learn or to be. So we put our right hands over our hearts, and I'll always use the phrase, and now our prayers begin with, and that, that's when I'll give you just a couple of, you know, just short little couple of words, and you must fill in. What is heartfelt to you this day? And you say it aloud, and we tone at the end. So we put our hands over our hearts, and here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Now we're going to stand up and announce what the one or two words were that came to us. And um, we do this by standing straight and tall. Our hands go palms forward out at our sides. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you is to Now, in Aramaic, we formed an agreement by saying the word Amen three times aloud. And here we're going to sing it aloud three times for our oath to God to solidify it. Sing it any tune you want. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mat. And we'll begin the session. We always go begin it in resting position, lay down on the mat, our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides. And we begin the each, we'll go to this resting position in between each of the different sets of poses. We'll always go back to resting position. And we do this, our first position is to pull our right knee up to our chest, holding it there, our prayers begin with, Father, I love you, and I 
Thank you for Um. Now we take our right hand, our right foot, I'm sorry, right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, and let our right knee fall down to the mat. And as we do this, we take our right arm straight up over our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for all Now we take our right foot in our right hand, pull it down to our pelvis. Our left arm this time goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding on to it with our right hand. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let our arms fall straight out to the sides. Our right foot goes straight up into the heavens and falls out to the right side of our bodies, out down to the mat. Our palms are up, our arms are down on the mat, and our pelvis is wide open as far as we can. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and we take our right leg up and over our bodies, over to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat while we keep our shoulders down flat on the mat. Our arms are extended out straight from our shoulders, palms up, and our prayers begin with. Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. 
Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. And we pull our left knee this time up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. And I thank you for Um. Now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh. Holding it there, we let our left knee fall down to the mat and our left arm goes straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. And I thank you for Um. Now we hold our left foot in our left hand, pulling it down to our pelvis. Our right arm goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot and point it up towards the heavens, keeping our right arm extended out straight and down to the mat above our heads. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you, and I thank you for... Oh. Now we let our left foot go straight up to the heavens and fall out to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can, and our arms fall straight out from our shoulders again, straight out, extended out and down to the mat, palms up, and here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. And I thank you for all.
Now we take our left foot, extend it up to the heavens and across our body over to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat, while we hold our shoulders down on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we, <clears throat> excuse me, go back to resting position and we pull our knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with God, I love you and I thank Thank you for Oh. Now we put our right foot in our right hand, our left foot in our left hand, and pull our feet together down near our pelvis, soles of our feet together. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we pull our feet apart down near our pelvis and here our prayers begin with God I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we point both feet up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let our feet fall down to the mat right next to our pelvis. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders again down to the mat. But this time we turn our palms down. We turn our heads to the left and our knees go to the right down to the mat while we hold our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for
Now we turn our heads to the right and twist our knees over to the left side, down to the mat, holding our shoulders down flat on the mat at the same time. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for Om. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and this is the surrender pose. Where we surrender, we give anything over to God that might be troubling us. <clears throat> any fear, any doubt, any concern. And we do this by putting our hands under our sit bones and leaning forward on our elbows and try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And as we do this, our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. Om. Now we go back to resting position. This time our left hand gets pointed up towards the heavens. And it falls over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder. And we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and pull it over just a little farther, stretch our shoulders. And here our prayers begin with, God, I choose to Oh. Now we switch hands. Our right hand goes up to the heavens, falls over to the left side of our body, stretching our right shoulder out. And we pull it a little farther by taking our left hand halfway between our right elbow and right shoulder. And here our prayers begin with, God, I know I can. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. 
and this is called the tabernacle poses where we form a series of tabernacles houses of god is what a tabernacle is with our our limbs and our bodies so the first one we form is by pulling our feet up to our pelvis putting the soles of our feet together letting our knees fall out forming a tabernacle below our bodies Second tabernacle we form is of our hearts. We take our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice just sitting there waiting for us. It is filled to brimming over, overflowing with the gifts of God that might help us to be in service to God. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your loving gift to me of Um. Now we form a tabernacle over our entire bodies by putting our hands in prayer position up over our heads down to the mat and our elbows fall out down to the mat as far as we can. And in this tabernacle of our bodies, our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for my mind, my body, my spirit, my soul. Now we're going to begin the anointing series and we'll repeat it. We'll anoint gifts from God three different times, whatever comes to us, whatever gifts we feel this day that we've received that we want to be thankful for. So we keep our hands in prayer position during during all three of the anointing series. And we begin by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads, hands in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your loving gift to me of Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gift to me of Now we take our hands down in prayer position down over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gift to me of
Aum. Now the fourth position in each of the three anointing series is a movement where we take our fingers and we point them down into our abdomens, extend our hands out to the three o'clock position, like the arms of a clock, move them slowly up to the 12 o'clock position, and then our thumbs back to our foreheads. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul with your loving gift to me of Now we start the second out of three in the anointing series. Take our thumbs to our foreheads and hear our prayers begin with. God, I anoint your gift to me of Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you, your gift to me of Um. Now we take our hands in prayer position over our hearts and our prayers begin with God, I love you and I thank you for this gift of Now we do the motion of pointing our fingers down into our abdomens, extending them out to the three o'clock position, the 12 o'clock position, and then our thumbs back to our foreheads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I feel my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with this wonderful gift of Um. Now we touch our thumbs to our foreheads and hear our prayers begin with. And this is the third and final in the anointing series. Our prayers begin with. God, I anoint your gift to me of. Oh. 
Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and hear our prayers begin with. God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gift to me of Om. Now we take our hands down over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for this gift of Om. Now we do the motion of pointing our fingers down into our abdomens and extending them out to the three o'clock and 12 o'clock positions. And then our thumbs are moved back to our foreheads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul with your gift of Om. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we take our right ankle, cross it over our left ankle. We cross our right wrist over our left wrist. over our hearts and hear our prayers begin with. God, I thank you for keeping me safe and protecting me and Now we'll roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Our right leg goes straight out in front of us this time. Our left foot goes across our right knee and we hold our left knee with our right arms. Our left arm goes behind our back to support us, sitting straight and tall as we twist our head and shoulders to the left. And here our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. I desire to Oh. 
Now we switch legs. Our left leg goes straight out in front of us this time. Our right foot comes over across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs, keeping our back straight and tall as we twist to the right with our head and shoulders. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am, I will. Oh. Now we go back to sitting position. And our no, and we get up on our knees. Put our hands over our hearts in prayer position. And our prayers begin with God, the Father, Mother, One, Oneness. I love you. Om. Now we form a <clears throat> tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first fingers together. And in this triangle, this tabernacle of our hands, we put them down on the mat. And we'll put our foreheads in it in child's pose. And we just hold this position for a while feeling God filling our bodies, healing our bodies with his or her love. His and her love. And so we just hold this pose. Oh, now we go back to sitting position. This time our right leg gets extended out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, I choose that I am.
Now our left foot goes off to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with God, I know that I am. Om. Now we go back to sitting position. This time our <clears throat> hands are on our knees, but our palms are up. Our thumbs are touching our middle two fingers. We keep our back straight and we bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with I bow to my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul for. Oh. Now we sit up back straight and tall and we bend again in our pelvis, bowing forward and here our prayers begin with. I bow to you, God, the Father, the Mother, the One, the Oneness. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall, and we feel where our pelvis is grounded to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. And on the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light entering our bodies. The feminine traits of love, God's traits of nurturing us, God's traits of creating new life, life within our bodies, cells repairing cells and growing new cells, life within our minds. New life all around us. This white light fills every cell in our legs. This white light fills every cell in our abdomens. White light comes up and fills our hearts, and our hearts just glow white with this light of love in all directions. And then the white light comes up through our throats and into our heads. filling our minds with God's, the mother's, peace and love, nurturing creation, creating cells, creating memories in our minds. And this white light goes out the tops of our heads up into the heavens, high, high up, and spreads out and showers down around the whole earth around us with God's love. 
Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, we feel God the Father's love, his blue light, filling our bodies with truth, with knowledge, with each cell, knowing what to do to repair themselves. Now we feel this blue light going up, filling our legs, filling our abdomens, filling every cell in our body with, with the knowledge of how its function is and how to repair itself. Every cell in our hearts gets filled with our knowledge of how to repair itself. And every cell in our bloodstream gets filled with this knowledge of how to heal us and repair ourselves. Then this blue light comes up into our throats and into our heads, giving us constant knowledge. The blue light goes out the tops of our heads and up into the heavens above us. And it showers out, extends out to the sides, filling the skies with God's blue light and it raining down on all of God's creations with the knowledge, the knowing, the truth. Now we can step up into this light anytime we want. And here we step up into it and we can ask any question we want of God, of the light, of the heavenly light, of the kingdom of light. We can ask any question we want, but one question we also always ask while we're here is, God, what do I need to know this day?